The powerful gravity of Earth tugged the moon into its oddball shape long ago, shortly after both bodies formed. Tidal forces exerted during the early days of the solar system can explain most of the moon's large-scale topography, including its slight lemon shape. Today we will discuss here on the topic, why is the moon shaped like a lemon? Welcome back to Signature's Life and you're watching Signature's Science. What is the origin of this symmetry? Scientists think the moon formed from a debris blasted into space when a mysterious planet-sized body slammed into the young Earth about 4.5 billion years ago. The moon was born hot and it came into existence quite close to our home planet. The newborn moon was thus primed to be sculpted by Earth's gravity and that's exactly what happened. Scientists have presided for more than a century that tidal forces helped shape the molten moon, causing bulges that froze into a place when Earth's natural satellite cooled down and solidified. But the new study provides a much more detail and understanding of how this likely happened. Tidal forces pulled on the lunar crust, stretching it out and heating it up in places. This process thinned out the crust at the lunar poles and thickened it in the regions that lined up with Earth, helping sculpt the moon into a lemon with two small bulges, one on the side facing our planet and one on the side directly opposite. Such tidal heating could have occurred only when the moon's crust was floating on a sea of molten rock, largely decoupled from the rest of the body. This happened a long time ago, when the moon was not completely solid. This was in the first 100 to 200 million years of lunar thermal evolution. Also, contributing to the moon's overall shape were more straightforward tidal deformation. Squeezing the lemon with your hands and rotational forces which cause spinning bodies such as the moon to flatten at the poles and bulge out near the equator. When the moon cooled, the changes brought by all of these processes were frozen in place. Interestingly, the long axis of the moon doesn't point directly toward Earth as it likely did long ago. Instead, it's offset by about 30 degrees. This probably happened when volcanic activity, impact, cratering and other events made the moon's interior a much less homogeneous place. Internal density anomalies have formed and have kind of candid the moon. When understanding other moons and planets, the new results could have applications beyond the moon, potentially helping researchers better understand any celestial body strongly affected by tidal forces. This idea was inspired by Europa, referring to the huge moon of Jupiter. Europa is similar today to Earth's moon long ago. Sitting atop an ocean layer, which consists of liquid water rather than magma. The study could even yield insights about the evolution of faraway alien planets. Tides are so obcusious, they're everywhere across the galaxy. So, understanding tidal process is always important.